Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cravings Vlog. Today we're making a really simple rice pudding. Now this is a recipe that's made all over the world in very different ways. The basic ingredients are rice, milk and cream and you can put any kind of spin on it and that's what I love so much about it. I didn't make rice pudding till very recently. When we went to Costa Rica, we were served a delicious rice pudding for dessert and my kids loved it. So I thought, why not try it? Now in India, it's called Firni, but all over the world, it's known by many, many different names. The ingredients are so simple and it cooks up so quickly, you can make a batch anytime. So let's get started. Here are my really simple ingredients. I'm going to start with three fourths of a cup of rice. You can use any kind of rice that you like, but I'm using basmati because that's what we stock at home. I'm also going to use the seeds of four cardamoms. I've just taken the seeds out and I've discarded the outer shells. I've got a tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee. You can just use regular butter if you don't have ghee. I've got three cups of regular milk. I've got a cup of heavy cream and I've got about a one fourth of a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to start with one fourth cup of sugar and then I'm gonna add more if I think it's not sweet enough. It's better to add less and add more later than to make it too sweet. I'm also going to add a pinch of saffron. This is completely optional. I love the taste of saffron and it also makes the rice pudding a little bit golden yellow, which I like. Um, it's quite expensive to use, so I'm using a really, really small pinch. So. Let's get over to the stove, but before we do that, I'm going to take the rice and the cardamom and I'm just going to put it in my food processor and I'm just going to pulse it. We don't want to make the rice into a powder. However, we do want it to break up so that you get that really nice texture when you eat the rice pudding. Heat a saute pan and I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. And as soon as it melts, I'm going to add the cardamom and rice mixture that I pulsed in my food processor. And I'm just going to let it toast a little bit. As soon as it hits the pan, you can smell the fragrance of the cardamom. It just smells amazing. I'm going to add three cups of milk and a pinch of saffron. And once it comes to a boil, I'm also going to add one fourth of a cup of sugar and just give it a really good stir. Now we're going to cook this mixture for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to check it at intervals and just make sure that the rice is not mushy. We want it to be al dente. And when it's almost ready, we're going to add one cup of cream and we're going to finish it off with some garnishes, which we'll talk about later. I've been stirring this for the last 20 minutes or so. And you, you do need to watch this really carefully because the milk does tend to boil over if you're not paying attention. So as you can see, it's fairly thickened up right now. It's almost clumpy. If you taste it and you think it's too sweet, don't worry about it. Because remember, I still have a whole cup of heavy cream that I'm just going to gently pour in here and mix in. I'm just gonna cook it for a few more minutes and literally this is ready to go. Come on man, just say it. Come into my life. The rice pudding is ready and you can garnish it any way you like. You can use some nuts, dates, figs, or like I've done, some crushed pistachios. You can use pomegranate. The possibilities are endless. So thank you so much for joining me and see you next time on Cravings Blog. And don't forget, please do visit my channel at youtube.com slash cravings blog. See you next time. Bye. Every day.
he just watches you as you pass His mind is ablaze with the sound of brass Maybe just once you should turn and smile Cause a love like his will be worth your while